<laughs> okay, so boom. Have y'all ever just woke up knowing you had to go to work? Well, first of all, before you woke up, your alarm just instead of going off, instead of going off, instead of going off. And what you doing? Snooze, snooze, snooze. Trust me, I know all about it. Or knew all about it. So, you get up, finally. You get yourself together. <clears throat> but while you're getting yourself together, you're dragging, right? And the whole time you getting yourself together, you like, man, they can really just fire me. I don't even give up no more. Yeah, I used to say that too. I used to say that too. I used to say that probably about four times, four or five times before I even pulled up at the parking lot. Okay, so boom. You pull up at the parking lot. And as you pulling in, you immediately get disgusted. You immediately get disgusted. Your stomach out, just do all this funny type of turning and stuff, right? Then finally, when you, you know, you looking for a park, depending on where you work at, sometimes you ain't even got no a place to park. But you still trying to find a park. Then eventually you like, man, if I can't find no park, I'm going to go home. Then you, you, you see people walking and you just like, like you're immediately disgusted with people who ain't even did anything to you. You just, at this point, you're just really over it, right? I've been there. Been there, done it. But let me tell you something. That's because either it's one or two things. I'm, a, I'm real raw and uncut. One or two things. One, either you really just tired. Either you really just tired. And you just need to maybe try it again tomorrow. That could be, that could possibly be it. Possibly. But then two, deep down inside, you ain't supposed to be there. You are not supposed to be there. How is it that you get up in the morning? You, first of all, you, like, if you're out, you tell people, I got to go to work in the morning. I got to go to work. I got to go to work. No, you don't have to. You don't, you don't, you don't got to go. You get to go. You know, God, you know, woke you up so that you can get to work. But, but again, you get that feeling because, you know, deep down inside, there's a creative gift inside of you that you need to be using. There's a creative gift inside of you that you are delaying because you up here, you forcing yourself to get up you're forcing yourself to get energy you forcing yourself to put all of this into somebody else i understand bills gotta be paid i get that i promise you i do i get whether you're single or whether you have a significant other i get it and sometimes working a nine to five is doing just what it's supposed to do for you. Be just over broke. But when you know you have a passion and a gift that can change your life overnight and you sleeping on yourself, what you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I don't care how many times I gotta get in front of this camera and tell you so follow your passion. Follow, you can have these dreams, but when when are you going to live it? When are you going to make your dreams reality? People say chase your dreams. Yes, chase your dreams. But one day, you're going to have to catch those dreams and make it reality. One day or day one, you choose. Because life going life gonna to be passing you by. Everybody else going to be going on with their business. Everybody else going to be posting on YouTube, posting on Instagram, posting on social media. You're going to be looking at them. Their life going to be sweet. 
and yours, you just gonna be sitting there like, hmm, could be me. You know, you ever, you ever be on social media and you know somebody work at McDonald's? You know somebody work at Wendy's? You know somebody work in the fast food industry? But they take more trips than a little bit? And you sitting up here making what you think is good enough, $15, 16 an hour, maybe even $20 an hour. And you can't go nowhere. You can't do nothing. Let me tell you something. Dumb people, dumb people who work in them fast food restaurants who always be going somewhere, I'm going to be honest with you, honestly, because I'm an energy person, I can sense when they know I ain't supposed to be there. I go because I can. I go because I can go. I go because I can make some extra money. But them people want to live. They know they got a life and they going to live it, regardless of the age. Because we can sit up here and talk about, you know, oh, them just the young people. Them just the young people. Baby, let me tell you something. I'm in my 30s, okay? I've seen 50-year-olds work for McDonald's, work at McDonald's now to this day and take more trips than anybody. Like, you was just on a cruise last month and you cruising again? What is McDonald's paying you? But, I mean... To each his own, right? But what I'm here today to say is you got to make a change. Instead of getting up dragging every morning, oh, they can fire me. Yeah, they can. So that God can hire you. You can hire you. You delaying your own blessing. You delaying your own dreams. You delaying your own creativity because as soon as you get to work, you're going to be sitting up there like, bro, I can be doing this, man. I can be doing this. I can be here doing this, doing it. You got so much to do when you clock out. But how much of it do you get done when you clock out? You got to go be a mom, a dad. You got to go be a wife, a husband. You got to go be a caretaker. You 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 got to go be a, a healer, a, a, a provider when you clock out. And don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with all that. But how much time do you have when you clock out? See, the good thing about making your passion your paycheck is that you get to create your own schedule. You get to live the life that you desire to live. You get to live the life that you want to live. Now, don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with making some extra money. If you want a DoorDash, Uber Eats, whatever. Long as you creating your own schedule, do that. I do it. It's, it's, it's the closest thing to freedom than anything. The closest thing to freedom than anything. So... Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome to the A game. Welcome to the Honey Bun game where everything is all sweet over here. Because who wouldn't want to be a part of the sweet life? That's what I'm trying to get y'all to do. Be a part of the sweet life. You want that job, hate it. Get your mind right. Get yourself together. Change the way you think. Write the vision down. Make it plain. You ain't going to be broke. Unless you think your way into broke activity. There ain't even no word, but it's one today. Unless you, the negativity into broke activity, you ain't going to have no activity in your life. There was some right there. There was, there was almost a word right there. Almost. Yeah, I just I just want y'all to um oh Lord. I just want um I hope YouTube don't catch that. I ain't trying to get copyrighted. But anyway, I, I just want y'all to live your life. 
I do. I want you to, I want you to live your life and I want you to live it to the fullest. I don't want you to have any regrets. I don't want you to have any regrets. I don't want you to go into sickness or darkness or whatever and be like, dang, that could have been me. Or dang, I could have did this. Or dang, I could have did that. What you waiting now? Come on, big dog. You got it. You can do it. You got it. We got it. I'm going to motivate you every day. Comment down below. I got this. Comment down below. I'm starting today. I done had so many people say, thank you. I needed this. I'm about to start my channel. Or I'm about to start back posting. Them people had let life get in the way. But who life is it? It's your life. You got to take control of your life. You can't let life take control of you. Ooh, ooh. I done been there before and it ain't nothing nice when you let life take control of you. I'm so serious, y'all. Fired up. Fire up. If this video don't light no fire under your ass, then I don't know. Go watch my other videos. But I don't want y'all waking up sluggish no more talking about, oh, they can just fire me. When you feel like that, go and put your two weeks notice in. Get your mind right. Put your two weeks notice in. Strategize how you going to do your business. Or just jump out there. But make sure you had a faith the size of a mustard seed. See the vision, write it down, make it plain. Y'all got this. That's all I got. So until next video, I'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all.